It's easy to bash on the negatives with respect to Tesla. There are plenty of positives out there as well. One of the biggest bright spots for the brand has been its supercharger network. It boasts tons of locations, and most importantly, it just works. It's simple, quick, and it keeps Tesla owners moving. And now, finally, it's not just for Tesla owners, as the automaker has opened up access to certain supercharger locations around the country. This is big news in the EV space. Tesla features the best charging network out there. In fact, it's not even close. I've personally driven coast to coast on the Electrify America network, and I had a great experience, but that was back in 2019 when the equipment was far more fresh and we literally saw no other vehicles charging at them for the entire trip. The experience with EA and other non-Tesla networks today is mixed at best. There's the frustration of non-working stations or stations that don't deliver anywhere near their advertised charging speeds. With the Tesla Supercharger Network, a Tesla owner knows they can pull in and the equipment will be working 99 times out of 100. It's a big move here for Tesla to finally let non-Tesla products gain access to the Supercharger Network. First off, there are tons of locations. There are over 40,000 superchargers across the globe and the US has nearly 17,000 of them. By comparison, as of last fall, Electrify America was up to around 3,600 stations. Tesla definitely has the lead with respect to charging infrastructure. And opening that up for others is a boon for the entire EV space. At the present time, Tesla is starting the rollout of access on a smaller scale. Tesla wants to monitor traffic at these sites and the overall charging experience. That's smart because some Tesla owners are likely to get annoyed seeing non-Tesla products hogging their charges. But again, there's a lot of them to go around. And a non-Tesla owner will pay more to use a supercharger. If you drive a non-Tesla EV, you can pay per charge, or you can access lower rates if you sign up for a $12.99 per month membership. That should net you rates around 25% less expensive per session. And that's in line with how other charging networks handle their own rate system. Tesla has a video explaining how to use its network for non-Tesla vehicles, which features an unlockable adapter now built into the machine, and I would link to that video or show it here, but Twitter's down when I'm recording this, so. Never mind. And Tesla is also rolling out its V4 stations, which feature longer charging cables, which is important since non-Tesla vehicles don't have their charging ports in all the same spot like Teslas do. Right now, the V4s are popping up in Europe and they should arrive in North America fairly soon. So now is probably a good time to head to Auto Trader, and I would say, you know, look at a Tesla vehicle, some used prices there, but you can look at any price of any EV because you're probably gonna be able to charge it at a whole lot more places soon. So, pretty simple here. If you were considering an electric vehicle but had hesitations about the network, you should know the number of available charging stations just got and continues to get exponentially larger.